What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Gonna break down Pearl Jam, Last Kiss, a famous cover that they did. It's great because it's a great song, but it's also super easy chords over and over and a nice easy strum pattern for you guys. So let's dig in, have some fun. All right, so four of the most popular chords with a nice easy rhythm pattern. Uh, let's do the rhythm pattern first. That way if you're a beginner, this is great rhythm practice beyond uh, chords you can play. So we're gonna go like this, down, down, up. That's the first part, down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So that second half, up, down, up. You put it together, down, down, up, up, down, up. 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 Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Yes. Good. Nice. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And so then we get these chords going. And we're going to start with the G chord. Third fret, second fret, ring finger on the third of the high E. We do that rhythm pattern for one chord, one rhythm pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up. And we're gonna use that index finger as a pivot point for the next chord. It gets to stay there. And we're gonna do the middle finger on the second fret of the D and that becomes what's called E minor. One rhythm pattern on that. Then we're gonna target our ring finger. This is what you wanna do if you're practicing switching the chords fast enough. For the C major chord, which we're about to play, you wanna use target your ring finger on the third of the A string. Boom, try and get that there. If you can't form the whole chord yet, use that as your like kind of locator point. And it gives you a split second because when you're strumming down, you have a little extra time to get the other fingers in line. Eventually you want the whole chord, but target that it also puts your hand in the right position. So we have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, G. E minor, same pattern. Then the C chord, so we target that finger. So three, two, open G, first on the B. So you have one rhythm pattern on C. And then finally, the D chord, and it's one rhythm pattern on that. So second fret, third fret B, second fret high E. Down, up, up, down, up. So check it out. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, da, 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 D, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And that is the whole song, except, you know, just those little breaks, like. C, D, let G ring out. That's all it is. You just, when you, you get to that G, you let it ring out for those breaks. Whole thing starts over again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down. All right, thanks again for hanging out, you guys. Really appreciate you supporting me with Marty Music, so thank you again for that. We'll see you in another lesson real soon. If there's a song you'd like to learn, lesson you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below. See you later. Uh.